Hi, I'm Shannon Stratton McWilliam and Mildred Lasden, Chief Curator here at the Museum of Arts and Design. And today we're looking at the show Coil Hooven, Tell It by Heart. The exhibition features over 30 years of Hooven's porcelain sculpture, uh, roughly categorized into four groups, her teapots and vessels from the early part of her career, figurative work utilizing uh, recognizable objects from the domestic sphere, a series of pillow sculptures, and then from the latter part of her career, a series of figurative sculptures. When you disembark from the elevator, the first thing that you approach is this series of pedestals with this distinctive staircase running through them. This structure is built to represent or remind us of a home um, as both a reference to the kind of domestic themes that you see in Coil's sculpture, as well as to the home um, as it appears in dream symbolism. This selection of Coel Hooven's sculpture represents a fantastic domestic realm in which a distinctive vocabulary of archetypes is the vehicle for an eccentric exploration of psychic life. You're looking at the piece Sandy Sandals in this shot, which I think is you know, really reminiscent of a dreamer going on a journey in their sleep. When Coel Hooven was a child, she was in awe of her father's ability as a storyteller. Weaving original fairy tales out of thin air, he tucked her into bed with myths of his own making. Coel Hooven's security pillow and pillow sculptures are evidence of these fond memories of being told bedtime stories. The pillow is a comforting object that signals the possibility of rest and ease. Hooven's pillows do much the same, cradling characters in need of comfort and security. To the far right, you see the small teapot Moon Two looking over the vessels in the exhibition. The moon has been linked to women since ancient times as an iconography tied to a goddess figure in three forms the maiden, creator, or the beginning, the mother, nourisher, or the middle, and the crone, destroyer, or the end. The vessel has been considered a symbol of the soul, the great mother, gestation, birthing, nourishment, and abundance. In alchemy, the vase is where transformation occurs. Coel Hooven created vessels, teapots, cups, vases throughout her career, and frequently used the form to stage her narratives. The exhibition Tell by Heart assembles a selection of Hooven's vessels from works such as Fly by Night and Adrift that show an early interest in the journey to the plunge and the last straw, which you see in this shot, which foreshadow the psychologically charged figurative work that she would make 15 years later. Among her many symbols is the snake, as both a figure and a part of the body, such as the hands and arms of Eve and Pregnant Girl, in which Hooven uses the reptile as a symbol of transformation. Other forms of transformation are psychological and irreversible and happen internally. Figures such as Please Me and Howl appear to be suffering the pain of a transformation of consciousness. Their anguish is visible in their contortions and gestures. In working with Eve as a symbol, Hooven takes possession of her story and extends it to express the artist's own desires and anxieties surrounding female experience. The couple is both a figurative sculpture of a man and a woman their vessels with an opening at the necks of the shirts. And finally, they recall the domestic figurines that she's made of clothing with both the gendered work shirts of the man and the woman worn as crowns on their head, the woman's shirt falling to cover her eyes.